What's up guys, Jimmy Pokemon here, and it's time for a PSA Returns. Oh yeah, I'm excited. All right, all right, so let's go crack the seal. I started taking these boxes out uh, just because it's just way easier than open the package and pulling them out because, dude, PSA has been packing this stuff like really tight lately. Um, yeah, so you can, you can see all this duct tape around here or this whatever tape. And yeah, these boxes have been super tight. So I figured, I was like, I feel like a lot of my backgrounds are playing. I was like, let me just grab this really cool Sky Ridge pack and throw it in the background. I actually did a trade um, where I traded that away to a good friend of mine. And uh, it should be pretty good. I ended up getting an EX Dragon pack, a signed Fakuda card, and some cash. So I thought that was a really good trade. All right, all right. Here we go, here we go. This looks like a 9. Oh, dude, this is a Quapolis reverse. Oh, yeah, this can be a really nice returns, guys. This is going to be a really nice return. Let's get that lighting right. Oh, yeah. You saw that really popped right there. Oh, man. Dude, this could be big. This could be big. I was thinking maybe this is like a common, uncommon, non-hollow. I got a little nick up there. 8.5. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're danger zone right now. We're in the danger zone. Uh, dude, if we get some 8.5s, you know, we're in trouble. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, here we go, here we go. Hey, hey we got the gym in 10, that's nice. Oh dude, you see one 8.5 and you just, you can feel it. You can feel it coming. It's like, it's like the sign of like, please don't, no, please don't. Don't give me a bunch of 8.5s. All right, next up. Hey, we got another gym in 10, Quacksire. There we go, that's a rare too. So you can see a little star down here at the bottom and these are just gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, one of my buddies, uh, Pokemon Collector, I think 91, on uh, Instagram, he hit me up like a year ago. This is like 2020, like April, March, and he was like, hey man, uh, this is like a 9. Hey, nice, Scizor. And he was like, dude, I got a bunch of like Expedition, Aquapolis, like, I'm going to keep some stuff for myself, but found this guy, he's got some big sets. <laughs> oh, dude, slow bro. Oh, man. That's awesome. And he's like, you know, can I sell you part of this, get some cash, and then I'll just use that to buy the rest of the sets. And I was like, that's a win-win. So I ended up buying a bunch of Exhibition Reverse, a bunch of Aquapolis Reverse, and he used that cash and pretty much bought the rest of this guy's collection. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude, this is a good return. This is a good return. Steelix, baby. The blue Aquapolis Steelix. The only, like, blue Steelix out there. Oh, my gosh, dude. This is This is so good. So, I mean, like, when you have situations like, oh, ooh, I, I can't even talk. I can't even talk, dude. We're back-to-back. Back-to-back -back. Back -back on the 10s. Like, that's so cool. Um, it's like a win-win. And that that's, like, the best deal you can make is when everybody wins. Uh, so, a little nick up here. Eight. Oh, no. Dude, 8.5. Oh, no. 8.5. All right. Somebody better start collecting 8.5 set. I got to... I gotta put these cards somewhere. Uh, probably a nine. Oh, it's the Suicune. It had a little corner nick at the top, so it got the nine. This is a just, I mean, it's like Suicune's out in the wild. He's got his hair all dangling, you know, just blowing in the wind. It's like almost like he just made sure he's good for the, the Instagram shot before they, they took that picture. Uh, this could be a 10. Oh, dude, so close, so close. Oh, man. Oh, I should have known this is a big card. Umbreon's always like close to Suicune, but oh, dude, that, that that's a that's a big ten if you get it. All right, all right, all right. This is probably a nine. For it, PSA nine forty eight. So it looks like we hit the back half of the rare. So probably one of these other boxes has more rares in it. So I'm guessing a lot of these will just be the uncommons going forward. Oh, dude, we got a ten gloom. Dude, I should I should have checked what I needed because I think I still need five reverse hollows from Aquapolis. So I dude, I really should have just like checked what I needed. Oh, Golduck, uh, 50, 50 A. So it's got the A and B. You see that at the bottom. So fifty A, fifty B. There's two different versions of it. Um, probably a nine. Yep, fifty B. Hey, there you go. So you can see the differences. So see it? You see the difference? It's literally the same card. Literally the exact same, except it's 50A, 50B. I'm sure that this is something you probably heard in, like, 50 other videos. But, you know, I mean, sometimes I like to just go through stuff again because it might be your first Pokemon video you've ever watched. 
And then if it is, you can know these corners are so rough that if this got a PSA 10, we'd be in a lot of trouble. So this is not a PSA 10. Oh, it's an eight Growlithe. Ooh, man, we were, ooh. If that would have been a 10, we would have been in trouble. So that's the lowest grade so far. Those corners are pretty rough, but I think Growlithe's one of the ones I need. So if this is a Growlithe and it's a 10, then I'm like, ooh, I'm like hitting goals here. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Oh, dude. Uh, PSA 10, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. But if that was a Growlithe, that would have been like goal. So the reason I was upset was because it meant that, you know, I didn't send any more Growlithe off because that was probably the only one. Oh, man, Merrill. This might be another one I need. Actually, you know, Cool Trainer Ryan might have hooked me up with a 10 like a year ago. Um, he has, like, some crazy sources, and he was getting good stuff. Oh, the size of the, that, that Nick up there, man. That's just a loved Pokemon card. Ah, Scyther, we'll take that. I mean, that's better than 8.5. That was like that was like 8.5 territory right there. All right, all right. We're going to keep going. Dude, if this is like a like an Aquapolis common uncommon returns, I thought this was going to be like a 10-minute returns because I was just going to fly through. I was going to be like, all right, you know, let's see the artwork. Let's see how many 10s we get. Because, I mean, even to this day, like, I still, like, I don't look at these. Like, this is the first time that I'm finding out about these grades. All right, all right, let's go. Nine. Oh, man, so this is the rare. So you can see we're starting with Aquapolis, the number one. Literally my favorite Amphros ever. I love this Amphros. If you have any holographic versions of this and, like, excellent to near mint, I'll pay you 75 bucks a card. Um, if you have a graded eight or nine, I'd buy that as well. Since market prices change all the time, just just we can we can figure it out. Uh, but that's a card that I just I just love that card. All right, all right, take a guess. I'm gonna guess PSA 10. Oh, man, this is so close. That was a close one. Uh, beautiful Arcanine, gorgeous Arcanine. The cool part is like, since this is a non-holo, uh, you can actually see a lot of like the background, like the fountain and all that stuff. It's like you can actually get a good glimpse at it. When it's hollow, it's just like blind and light, so you just can't even see it. All right, this is probably a nine. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, I was I was worried about those 8.5s. Once you get one 8.5, usually you got a lot more coming. All right, next up, next up, probably a nine. Hey, we'll take it, Electrode. I gotta make sure I'm centered because I keep like looking up. Oh, I'm gonna guess 8.5 here. This is either an eight or an 8.5. I'll be happy with an 8.5. Oh, there we go, Espeon. Oh, that's such a beautiful card. But like, this is a card I probably wouldn't have graded it if it wasn't Espeon. Because you look at those Nicks, I mean, it's just like twinning, you know? It's just, I mean, boom. Just such a gorgeous card. I mean, it would have been really cool if Watsy would have kept Legendary Collection, like Reverse Hollows, like the Firework Pattern, which is and like had all these. But man, it would have been a lot. It would have been a lot. Um, I'm going to guess maybe a 10, probably a 9. Oh, hey, hey, we'll get the 10. I saw the corners like... Like, they, they, they just weren't shaped entirely perfect, but otherwise it looked be pr like a pretty good card. So uh, we will take a 10 when we can get it. So you see that 10 stack and 9 stack, it's usually what you want, like 40% 10s, 60% 9s, and, well, 55%, then maybe like 5% of everything else. So this is looking like a normal return. So like normally you send stuff off, that's what it's looking like. Uh, probably a 9, maybe an 8. 8.5. Oh, man. Ooh. That stack's bigger than the eight stack. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is a nine. There we go. Same card. Yep, same card. We'll take a nine. Next up, next up. Here we go. Hey! <laughs> there we go, baby. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that fire, man. It's like this card was like, you know, white or whatever, green or whatever, and then it just blew the fire and it was just red. Oh, man. That's, that's, that's awesome. All right. Next up, next up. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh yeah. We're getting double double down on those tens. That's awesome. All right, all right. Oh, this is a nine probably. This is probably the better looking Hound Doom 2, the one coming up. Oh, 8.5. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Been doing this a few times. You know, oh man, here we go. Please be a nine. Please be a nine. Please be a nine. <laughs> there we go. This is like one of the all-time just favorite Houndoom artworks. 
Um, Neo Rev might be just a step ahead. It is a step ahead because it's the Hound of Roaring. This is like, hey, how long can you stand here? Can you win the hundred dollars for standing here hundred seconds, you know, type thing? So, I don't know. It's like one of those like goats or something that's climbing up the mountain. It's like, all right, man, like I know you can do it. No one else can. But it's still just kind of a cool, cool hound doom. Like oh, it's almost like it turned into a werewolf or something about to howl at the moon. That's like pre Neo Rev. Next up, Jump Off PSA 10. Very nice. Very nice. I mean, a 10 is great, great, great. All right, next up, probably a 9. Jinx, PSA 9. All right. Next up, we'll keep it going, keep it going. I think I'm going to guess... I'm probably going to guess a 10. Oh, there we go. That's good. Dude, I feel like I'm always just second-guessing myself. Like, you know, you see it, then you're like, oh, man, you know, because, I, I mean, like I said, I've had some tough returns. I've had some really good ones too. I think I've had more better ones recently than I expected because my returns like six months ago, like no tens, no tens at all. Oh, there we go. Another card that just embodies Aquapolis. I think, you know, my top Aquapolis cards, when you think of just like pure like aqua, water, all that, you got Lantern, you got the uh, Tentacruel. I think that's probably one of the best. And then, um, you know, I love the Steelix too, just because it's so blue. I mean, I don't really see Steelix as a water Pokemon, but, like, when it's blue and it's down there, it's, like, you know, kind of crazy. Uh, if, if they're grading these the same way, I'm going to say 10. There we go. Nice Magneton. It's, like, the, all the electric and stuff in there. It's kind of it looks like a circuit board or something, but yeah, it's kind of cool. It reminds me of, like, the Spider-Man uh, with uh, Electro, the one with Jamie Foxx in it, I think. And so I just love that sort of just art and stuff it's, it's a little different so i sky ridge is probably my favorite magneton of all time um this one just feels more like electric like there is a dark sense to it it's not the card isn't super bright and i think you know when you have an electric pokemon with such a dark art it is i think that's really hard to do and i thought they did that well all right all right next up hey we got the psa 10 the muck i guess it's in the sewer with all the pipes the water pipes or whatever going through It'd be kind of cool if you could take all the Quapos artworks, put them together, and like maybe they, I don't know. That would be like an ultimate project. That'd be super cool. Um, I'm going to hope for a 9, but I'm going to say this is like 8.5 territory. 8.5 territory. All right, all right. It's an 8. It's an 8. I mean, the hardest, the only, like, the hard part about an 8.5 is like, you better hope you want that thing in your collection, because if you don't, the hardest part is finding someone that does. Because a lot of people, they're like, well, I'd rather just pay a little more for a 9. Or, well, I guess I could save a little bit and get an 8. You know, it's like this sort of weird, like, dynamic. And everyone I meet that has an 8.5, they always want, like, close to a 9 value. But a lot of people are like, well, if I'm going to pay that close, might as well just buy a 9. So, I don't know. It's a, it's a really weird, like, it's so hard to just price that and sell it. A lot of times you're just going a little higher than an 8, and most people are happy with it. Nice, and then a ram, my Lucky Charms. This is the Lucky Charms card. I say that just because of the rainbow, like the cereal. Uh, probably a nine. Nice, fan fee. Um, all right, I'll see. I'll show you guys what I'm thinking of right now. All right, so I'm looking at this card. Oh man, come on, it's not gonna focus for me. Uh, it's hard to see, but it almost looks like a cross hatch pattern on the card. Um, yeah, I can. So I can see it like myself, and I don't know if you guys can see it. So like right there, maybe it's like a little cross hatch pattern on the fan fee. Um, I don't know. I mean, I can I can literally see it in person, but um, I it just it's not picking up on this camera at all. But sometimes it happens where the the Pokemon card art um, sometimes just gets manipulated a little bit. Happened a lot in first edition base, uh, but that's also the set I probably scrutinize the most that I just look at uh, the most. Nice, got a pincer. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Ooh, PSA 10, 101. We will take it. Very nice. Let's keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Oh, man, PSA 9. Poor guy. It's okay. This is the 103A. Again, A and B only affected four cards of the set for a total of eight cards total. So four Pokemon, eight cards. Only set that ever happened up until about Mega Powers, which was in 2017, I think. Oh yeah, that was two. That was another A. So it's 103A. That's cool. I might need one of the AB cards. I'm not sure. 
Uh, but the good thing is I'm going to go through all these and be like, hey, which one of these do I need? Please, hopefully I need some of them. The B got a nine. Maybe we got another B. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, no. Side, I got a nine. This is just one of those just epic, you know, sort of artworks. I mean, Psyduck's iconic for the world's cards. Um, all the way from Tropical Wind, Tropical Beach, and all those. And you can see here, it's almost like got a little playground right there. And it's got the Pokemon Fountain in the back. Like, there's a card to appreciate. Um, Psyduck usually just has some pretty phenomenal um, artworks and stuff. And so the Pokemon Fountain's like actually really cool too. Man, sometimes it's like you just want to hold some of these. You don't want to let go. And like I'm grading these to build my set for my collection. So obviously a decent bit of these will be on eBay or for sale or to whomever may want them. Um, but it's like sometimes you get a cool card. It's like, you know, I don't mind having doubles of that. That's actually kind of cool. Remember a PSA 9? I don't know if I've ever met a Rim Raid collector that like purely collects Rim Raids, but I mean, might be better than collecting Relicanth. I don't know. A little nick up there, a little off center on the back. Hopefully a nine. Scyther, PSA nine. Might be our second Scyther. I think there's two Scythers in the set though. It's probably a PSA nine. Center it. And like, I'm just going off the back. So if there's any scratches on the front or anything, like obviously I wouldn't factor that into this grade. Uh, I'm gonna go with nine. Slowpoke nine, very nice. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Oh, man. Oh, man. Vulpix 9. Uh, that's another popular one, man. It's just popular. You know, people people love a Vulpix. Next up, next up. Uh, this has 10 potential. This could be a 10. Uh, but it's not. It's a Darkness Cube. Next up. Looks like we're getting into the trainers. Oh, Energy Switch. Got a little whooper and a barrel there in the front. I guess they're switching that water energy from the active Pokemon to the bench Pokemon. Next up, next up. Oh, hey, there we go. Fighting Cube, PSA 10. That was it, like Fighting Cube 01. It's like, well, where's Fighting Cube 02? I mean, we forget about number two and three. There we go. Force Guardian, PSA 10. I got so, I like blanked out so hard right there. Like I saw this and I was thinking of like Oracle from Sky Ridge for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, this might actually be one that I need. Uh, one, two, three sounds familiar in my head. Um, but I don't know. I gotta. I really should have looked at that list because I, I thought this was a different returns. Um, next up, next up, next up. Chance. There's a chance. Hey, there we go. Juggler. There we go. Can you name all the Pokeballs right here? So this one, that one, that one. Can you name them all in a row? Some of those challenges are hard because they've made a lot more Pokeballs since when this set came out. So keep in mind, like, there were only so many when Aquapos came out, and then a lot more have come out since. Um, I'm going to say this is a chance, but this may probably be a 9. Yep, Lightning Q, PSA 9. Very nice. We will take it. All right, so we'll keep the Sky Ridge pack right there just so we can see it in all its glory. All right, let's push these stacks back a little bit. And I do all this stuff in one take, so it's like whatever comes out, comes out. You know, I'm not really censoring anything or going back or redoing takes. Like, it's like I've got this much time to do this before i got to go do something else tonight. So every time I record a video, it's it's really just like sort of where's my head at in that moment? What are we going through? What's going on in the world? And, uh, yeah, sometimes there's some more exciting days than others. But what's cool is uh, just about every day is a Pokemon day. All right, next up is probably a 9, maybe an 8.5. 9, Seedra. That's scary, man. Dude, out in the abyss. Man, that's that's a little scary. Spinarag, 9. All right, so now we're back in the Pokemon. This is like the mid-60s or so. Hey, Tyrogue, PSA 10. I, I know I definitely have a few of these. I was going through my extra inventory, and I, I had a couple, so that's kind of cool. Uh, Voltor PSA 9. There's some of these cards that, like, it'll be pop 3 or pop 4, and I'll go through, and I, I'll have all four PSA 10s, or I'll have all three PSA 10s. Like, that's happened a couple times. I'm like, no way. Um, so I think it's just me just trying to make sure I go out and make them available. I'm sure there's other people trying to complete sets and stuff. Probably a 9. Whooper. Oh, that's a sad one, man. I'd put that right there with the Cubone. Might be the Aquapolis Cubone, too. That might be the really, really sad one. I uh, might actually have it coming up. It's probably a 9. Yep, it's a 9 Chansey. There we go. 
All right, all right, come on. This is, this is definitely not a 10. Execute, PSA 9. You can see that kind of matches the other ex executor artwork. Uh, this is a chance. I'm going to go with 9, though. Yep, yep. That made sense. Um, maybe a 9? Oh, there we go, Goldeen. So you think you, you think you know it, you think you guessed it, and all of a sudden you get a nice one. Uh, this is probably a 9. Yep, hop it. Very cool. And that last box isn't very full, so probably shouldn't be too much longer, guys. Um, mm, I don't know. I mean, I'd probably say nine. Yep, horsey. That's shelter, man. It looks kind of mad, dude. It's like kind of mad, man. All right, all right, I get it. You know, horsey's got to be just a super small Pokemon as is. Hey, there we go. Houndour, PSA 10. Very nice. Come on. Come on. Finish strong. Let's get a few goals here. Let's get a few goals. Save me like 500 bucks. It's going to cost me to buy the ones I need. Hey, there we go. Lucky Charms Part 2. <laughs> so you got the Nidoran and then the Mankey, the big rainbow. There we go. Um, I will take it. I'll take it. All right. Let's get a few goals here. If So I got literally five cards left. If I can get one card, I would consider that to be a win because um, I've gone like a full year and I have not crossed off one of those five. Ooh, Mareep. So, whatever we can get, you know. All right, next up, next up. Milk Tank. I don't know why I was about to say Blissey, but um, that'd be a weird-looking Blissey if the, if the front of Blissey was like that. All right, all right. So, like a cow right there. Uh, next up, another Milk Tank. All right, come on. If we get one more 10, I'll be happy. 8.5. All right, I, as long as we get 9s and plus, I'll be happy. <laughs> Okay, as soon as you ask for something, you get hit with an 8.5. All right, all right. Next up. Hey, there we go, Mr. Mime, PSA 10. So I thought it was kind of crazy they used Mr. Mime a lot in the, in the uh, Detective Pikachu movie. So it's kind of weird to look back at all the old Mr. Mimes. I mean, this is like, this reminds me of like a 1930s, like sort of sketch of like a mime. Like just super, super old school. We need the art, because I mean, you look at like Jungle, or you look at other ones, and this is just... I don't know. It's just like a neat little take on it. So, kind of cool. All right, all right. Next up, probably a nine. Yep, yep. And then ran. Ooh, so we had another one of those. That's kind of cool. All right, so this last box is probably going to have some energies or something in there. I'm guessing my address will probably be in one of these. Um, so, yeah, not too much going on there. All right, let's finish strong. Let's finish strong. What can we do? What can we do? This is probably a nine. Ooh, it was not 8.5. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Can we do it? I think this. I think this has a chance. This is a chance. Oh no, man! Ah, oh, dude, that back looks so good. That looks so good. Oh, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. Man, all right, all right, all right. Keep it together, keep it together. This is a shot. <laughs> there we go. Darkness Energy. Those energy cards are hard because it's like the full face is hollow, where it reverse hollow, whereas the other cards are not. There's probably a nine, a little nick up there, a little, little line right there. So a lot of times on the backs of cards, you can't really see it, but there are, you see that little line right there? Um, a lot of cards come off the printing press where they'll have factory lines going across, and they look perfect, like clean corners, clean edges, everything you put in the light. And it's like, oh, man, like machine just really dug into that. Maybe it's a bottom stack. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> hey, you know, it happens. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it is what it is. I mean, if you look at that, I mean, that's a really good-looking card. I mean, clean corners, clean edges, clean everything. And then it has, like, the one little nick up there. And not going to lie, guys, I've seen plenty of PSA 10s. I know I have some PSA 10s where they have, like, the little nick and stuff up there at the very top and then like that little line right there I mean it's really hard to miss so I mean it's hard to say because it's like you know if I would have sent this card off like a couple months ago maybe this would have been a nine I mean the front of that it's really clean it's a really nice card so if I put this in your hands you're like all right well centered looks good looks pretty good maybe a little nick up there only one defect all right ten you know because you can have a defect and it can still be a ten it just can't be like a major, you know. So, I mean, that little thing right there, okay, I get it. But, like, if I were to sell this card to someone, like, I could see them being upset with it. But, 
it just it, it's just the way it is. You know, they say buy the card, not the grade. I think the grade helps give guidance. Like a PSA 8 is never going to sell below a certain amount. It's never going to sell above a certain amount. So your 8 range, there's a range. So you just got to pick, you know, your card. So this could, could be a 9. It does have this little nick up here. So we'll see. Yep, Undersea Ruins. Uh, this is another one of those cards that, that just reeks Aquapolis. Like it's literally in the sea, ruins. It's like an old Pokemon stadium. Like this to me is just Aquapolis. So I love that one. There are a few other kind of hidden like gems when it comes to trainers and stuff that are just really cool. Uh, this is probably a nine. Yep, Seer. So again, another like kind of cool card if you if you think about it. But that's not a card you're like looking at every day. But when you know it's Aquapolis, it's kind of cool. All right, I didn't see that grade, but we're just going to turn it over. <laughs> hey, there we go. Psychic Q, PSA 10. I didn't mean to like flip it over. I right, two cards left, two cards left. What can we get? Pokemon Park, PSA 9. This is a really tough one to get. I think I um, I think I paid a lot for this in a 9 because I didn't have one. But also it has a Pikachu in it, so it's one of those cards that does have two of the starters. And the Pikachu is a 3D version of it, but I really like the way that Pikachu looks. So I'm not a big 3D fan like of the 3D artworks and stuff, but that like it's just kind of a dope little like picture. So it's so nine. We got one more. If we get a Pokemon Park PSA 10, that would actually be huge, huge. And this is not a 10. It's a nine. Metal Cube had a really bad corner up here, so you can see that corner right there. That's why. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty awesome. So. A little ironic. I don't know. I had Sky Ridge in here, but it was like something cool next to me. I was like, I got to have better backgrounds, you know? So I'm really happy with this. I mean, you see this 10 stack and you see that 9 stack. I mean, that's really good for E-Series Returns. And you saw that one card is probably maybe a little overgraded. Uh, 8.5 is a little unfortunate, but we didn't get too many of them. I mean, there were a couple years ago, people had returns of 8.5s that were this high. Um, feel bad for them. But have a lower stack of 8s, that's not bad. I mean, I'd rather have the problem of having, like, more 8.5s and be like, well, you know, I'm going to sell a little above an 8 than, like, having a higher, you know, stack of 8s. So it's just, I think you limit your buyer pool a little bit. But thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hopefully you added a few cards to the collection here. And until uh, next time, see you guys.